Welcome back to my channel. Well, me, the missus, and the in-laws, we all went to Margate with the kids. So yeah, I did a bit of arcade hunting with Josh guys. So there's 20 machines we managed to track down in the little bit of Margate where we were. Um, we weren't there too long this time, guys, because uh, we knew it was going to rain after sort of like 2 o'clock, so we had to leave. You know, just after two. Uh, unfortunately, Dreamland wasn't open, otherwise we would have gone in there and done a bit of footage in there. So, yeah, unfortunately, that went a little bit pear-shaped. But we managed to track down 20 arcade machines and the kids had a bit of fun on the beach. Well, Ollie certainly did. I think Amy and Josh basically sat in chairs and just watched. But, um, yeah, Oliver had a little bit of fun. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do, guys, is I will show you first a little bit of where we were on the beach and a little bit of the view of Margate, where I am on the beach, because, uh, like I said, guys, we didn't venture too far. We literally ventured across the road to the arcades, and that was about it, really. So not that exciting, but the main thing with any of these videos, guys, is that we show you some arcade machines that we go on the hunt and track them down so yeah 20 machines guys i do believe what did we get guys hmm. right back in a sec ollie where are we margate you wally oh, yeah. right you want to throw this rock do you go on then not very far though i don't want you hitting anybody with it oh there we go wherever that went oh there it is yeah it's a beautiful day today, isn't it, Ollie? Yes. Lovely weather. Yes. Let's have a look. There's Dreamland over there. Dreamland. Yeah, Dreamland Market. Dalton. Yeah, it's a lovely day, guys. It was supposed to be quite bad weather, but it's yeah, turned out quite a, nice. There's a bunch of seagulls. Yeah, there is, isn't there? Let's pull it in a bit. Let's have a look. There we go. So you can see a bit better, guys. Yeah, there's Dreamland, the entrance to it, anyway. The best land you could go to. The best land you could go to. Oh, big Oliver head. Right, okay, let's have a look around. Uh, loads of people here today, guys. We're going to see the clock tower in a minute. He says there it is. There's Margaret's clock tower. That rings out periodically. So yeah, it's really periodically. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's really lovely here today. Nice weather. So yeah, let's turn around, there we go guys, yeah that is really really lovely day, as you can see, there's the sea, literally sea, the sea, so yeah that is brilliant, yeah, right so let's look back out again, the old clock tower there, lovely day. Obviously we shall get over to the arcades, like this one over there that you can just make out in the back there, called the Flamingo. So we can pick it up, there we go, the Flamingo, yeah, that's a nice arcade. And then there's one a bit further down as well, yeah, so yeah, we'll get all that guys, in a little while. So yeah, brilliant, you're at Margate today, wicked. What are you doing, you plank? I am doing a handstand. Trying to bury your head in the sand? No, I'm doing a handstand. Oh, are you? Go on then, do a handstand. Do a handstand for YouTube. Yeah. Uh, that's about as much as you're going to get of an Oliver handstand, isn't it, eh? Yeah. Yeah. There's all the, all the seagulls on the rampage here looking for food. And then there's an Oliver. Oh, an Oliver. Chasing the seagulls earlier, a big group of them. I said to you, you might want to watch it, they'll get you. K 
carry you away and we'll never see you again. Here's the cheeky bugger after our lunch. Cheeky old seagull. And here comes another one. There they come. Ah. Look at him. Hoping for some. It's a sandwich to drop. Hey, off he goes. Uh, <laughs> ah, where are you going? <laughs> He's not having much luck with us. Bye. Right, here we go, guys. Aliens Armageddon. So, Josh is holding the gun there. Wicked looking arcade. Bad one. Raw thrills. Josh Then we have Pac-Man basketball or pac basket or whatever. Hey? You've always got these at all these places guys. Whether it's Sonic or Pac-Man or whatever. Need for speed carbon guys. Wow, look at that one. Go around and have a look. Yeah. That's a pretty cool looking one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah pretty cool. Only one working there. And you got this one here. Phantom motorcycle.
never heard of this one before. It's like Temple Run. Right, next up, Dead Heat. By Namco. By Namco, yeah. <laughs> Two of them again, but only one working. But yeah, Namco machine, guys. Wow. Have a look. Pretty cool looking. Right, you can see yourself in it. Haha, <laughs> yeah, camera, yeah. Yeah, pretty wicked that one. Right, Sega Rally guys. So it's a pretty cool looking one, isn't it, Josh? Reminds me of the old, like, PS1 game. Right? Reminds me of the old PS1 game. Ah, right, yeah. The old PS1 game, yeah. Pretty good. Very nice looking uh, case. Yeah. Piano case. <laughs> it's like uh, going to the white tile. Ah, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. I remember when we were on holiday, uh, they had one of those in the holiday arcade, and yeah. I got like the second place on the high school that you brought. Ah, Twice. right. Since they erased the leaderboard every day for some reason, so I got oh, the they? second class So they erased it every day on holiday. Yeah. Oh, right. Well, they interesting looking one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I kept getting the high scores, so. Yeah. Right, an Angry Birds one. It's like whack a mole. That's just this kind of demonstration without putting money in it and spending money. Pretty fun looking, I suppose, for what it is. Yeah. Angry Birds, whack a mole type game. Yeah. yeah. Wicked. Right, now we found a crossy road. Never seen one of these before, have you, Josh? Uh, I have actually. Have you? Yeah. yeah. We were going to play it, well Josh was, but then I realised we've only got a two pound coin, so... Oh well. But well, you can have a look at it anyway, there we go. Yeah, crossy road. There we are. Wicked. Then we have Dance Dance Revolution. I'll see you do it with your feet. Doing? Huh? What was it doing?
You're never too far from Sonic, guys. Never too far from Sonic, Josh. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at this one, guys. Three monitors. That is quite stunning looking, isn't it? It's a beast. Yeah, that is a beast and a half, isn't it? Look at that, guys. Wow. That is absolutely fantastic looking. Yeah. Wow, that is pretty awesome, isn't it? It's called Crazy Racing, I think. Gives you like a couple of options. Dirt 4. What I can make out is that you can play Dirt 4. Yeah. Wow, that is pretty damn cool. Not seen anything quite like that before. Yeah. Another Angry Birds machine, guys. Different one this time. Where you just baiting somewhere. That is a weird one, that they one. They make noises when you stomp on them. Oh, do they? Ha! That is weird. Quite cool, though, in a way. I was just supposed to stomp on them when the light's like. Ah, well, yeah. And we've got Connect 4 hoops, guys. It's an interesting looking one, never seen that before either. Apparently Josh's seen a YouTuber playing it. That is pretty damn cool as well, isn't it? Through the balls into there. Yeah. Like into the nets and then it like goes down into the screen. Ah, right, okay. So it actually comes out the bottom and just goes down. Yeah. Here's a Transformers one guys, we won't look too close because somebody's using it, but there you go, looks pretty damn cool, yeah, excellent. Here we go, Combi one guys, it seems to have Gallagher and Pac-Man on it, there's Pac-Man playing at the moment. It says it's the world's largest Pac-Man, but I feel like someone's probably made a larger Pac-Man. Yeah, probably yeah. a larger screen than Pac-Man Yeah, well, that looks absolutely cool. Does look cool. And then right next to it, guys, is one I've uh, spotted. Willy Crash. Willy Crash. What a unique name. Willy Crash. That is, uh, yeah, quite a strange one, that one. Seems to be all about the Willy. You can download it on the app store, get it on Google Play. Hey, oh yeah, download it, yeah. It's a mobile yeah, Pac Man one is better. Yeah, Pac Man one's definitely better. Yeah, I don't know how Gallagher came up earlier, but it did. Yeah. yeah strange, yeah. <laughs> there you go, guys. A little bit less footage this time obviously we did track down 20 machines so you've seen them now some stellar ones there guys i'll tell you what if we would have been there longer for the day i bet we would have found a hell of a lot more going further down and um, the seafront there would have been more arcade places and whatever and if we even got into dreamland there would have probably been even more but that's not bad T spotting 20 flipping arcade machines that is not a bad record i think it's the most we've done in one of these videos so 20 yeah that was that was great obviously only a little bit of footage of the actual beach and what have you unfortunately when i'm scanning around the uh you know the seafront like the shops and what have you the arcades and what have you of margate and the bit where we were it went a bit out of focus but hopefully you got a kind of gist of where we were in margate you saw the clock tower and what have you and of course those greedy seagulls they're always there guys whenever we do these <laughs> videos we're always surrounded by seagulls so yeah a little bit of ollie having fun some seagulls and of course 20 arcade machines so not a bad go there well we're out again guys we're going to be going to south end on the 27th so that'll be the next one i do where we spot the arcade machines me and Josh and maybe the other kids as well, um, we shall see. And uh, yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff at South End, so hopefully. Yeah. Because of course, this time round we didn't do any pickups either, because we never went into town, because we knew we were going to be running out of time. So no pickups, guys. But that could be coming tomorrow. Because I've always already done a pickups, guys, here in Chatham Town. 
which was in cash converters. And where else was it? Oh, and uh, right cash. So I've got that coming, but I'll save it in case I get a nice big lot from the boot fair tomorrow. Because, yeah, we're off to the boot fair tomorrow morning. So, yeah, let's see what ends up being a pickups video in the end, guys. Hopefully I get a lot more at the boot fair. So, fingers crossed for that as well. So, right, guys, that leaves me with the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a bummy thumbs up. And, of course, tap the bell icon and that all icon to get any future notifications. And, again, guys, do you like emulation? Because I tell you what, some of those arcade machines have had ports, haven't they, onto systems over the years. And a fabulous way to play them these days is on an emulator. And any of the classics out there, guys, that will be lost in time if we don't preserve them for future generations. And a fantastic way to do that is through emulation, of course. Whether it's handheld or plug it into your TV, type of system like a Pi, I've got a fantastic group for you if you love emulation. It is the Retro Emulation Fan Group on Facebook, guys. Well over 300 members, a fantastic admin team, or oh, just absolutely stellar content, guys. Tons of videos from system reviews to emulation performance and videos to tech help videos or S videos, guys. You know, those custom firmwares that you can drop onto the handhelds to give you the choice, guys, of which one you want to go for. So, yeah, fabulous place if you just love emulation. It is linked below. Head over there and come and join us. And then, guys, I also have my UK Crowd Gaming Facebook group as well, where we cover everything from retro to modern, so from your Pong machines to your PS5s, guys, and everything in between. And tons of videos, guys. Again, other YouTubers putting their videos up there every single day. It is stellar for content, guys. Sometimes even more than 10 videos a day could go up. Oh, brilliant, brilliant place, guys. So if you just love gaming... Come over, you know, again, lots of members to have a banter with and a fantastic admin team as well. So if you just love gaming, links below again. And finally, guys, I also have a Patreon. Again, linked below and another video for you to watch there as well of why I decided to set up a Patreon in the first place. Give it a watch and then see if you want to join me on my Patreon journey. And with that, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you and say, be the Tschüss and goodbye, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.